Welcome back, friends, to the island of Curacao. Absolutely getting a unique experience. Previously, we set out on a full island tour. Here we are at the blow hole. It was truly one epic, action-filled day. Get ready, because the adventure continues right now. The best, the best in Curacao. Amazing, fantastic day. Here we go, Dave. Go get you a drink at the five o'clock somewhere bar. That's where you can watch your ship leave you. Uh, yeah. Hey, that's like my ship. Right after you had one too many uh, blue curacao's, you can sit right here at the five o'clock somewhere and say, I think it's only five o'clock. Right, oh yeah, right next to the Wind Creek Casino, Scott. <laughs> I thought that looked familiar. <laughs> Bang, here is the waterfront. So, fun fact, uh, this right here is actually the largest natural deep water channel in the entire Caribbean. So, they would use this, um, this used to be a fort right here, and they were able to bring in their big tall ships and bring them into this lagoon bay here and uh, hide from any enemy ships. And they can actually, believe it or not, they can fit a cruise ship right up in here. Like on really, really busy days, they will. They'll dock a cruise ship up in here. So the two ocean ports are just behind this wall, and that's where we're docked at for today. But they can also dock a smaller cruise ship right up in here. They'll move this bridge out of the way and bring it right up in. Yeah, 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 that's a floating bridge and it moves. So yeah, Curacao's got a lot of shopping. If you're a shopping connoisseur, this is definitely a port you want to add to your list. There is a lot to explore, a lot to see. It's very developed, right? So um, it's also, I, I wouldn't say, at least this part of it is not the most authentic local experience either. It's very developed. It smells great, whatever we're at right now. What is it? Pancakes. Oh yeah, there it is. The pancake. What does it say? Pancake sensation or something? I never thought I would want pancakes at four in the afternoon, but here we are. Souvenir shopping I think is complete. I'm gonna look up here and see if I can get a bottle of blue curacao to take home because why not? I'm already here. I'm right here in the island. I, I, I can't leave without getting a bottle, so let's see what they have it for up here. It was 17 back there. I think it might be a little cheaper up here. I could be right. I could be wrong. Either way, I'm gonna try and snag a bottle. And then we're back on board, baby. Back on board Odyssey of the Seas. Like I said, guys, a fantastic day here in Curacao. If you enjoyed it, smash that thumbs up button for me. Let me know down below what was your favorite part of today. Uh, and check out, check out the tour that we did through Pirate Quest. Um, we had a fantastic time. Loved every second of it. And uh, I want you to come check it out for yourself next time you're in Curacao. Good Lord, y'all, looky here. Here's the goods. So definitely come right here by the ship way cheaper so this is ten dollars for the 375 mil but it is 26 percent alcohol or you get the 700 mil but it is uh oh wait that also says what said 24 something said 24. something was less uh, anyway we got the good stuff i got two bottles so we are good. There we go. They're making snow cones out of it. Hey, hey! <laughs> so I got my goods. I'm a happy boy. Back to the ship we go. Great day in Curacao, baby. Oh, this is nice. Hello. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. If only they knew we're about to turn their towels, so I hear a desert brown. <laughs> Not too bad. Oh god, well maybe it is. Watch your neck, how you watch your I guess we just take a bath right out here, huh? It's nice, it's a nice refreshing towel. Well, after an actual shower back on board, we headed up for our reservation at the skydiving simulator, and I'd like to walk you through exactly what happened. So after a quick check-in process, they did suit us up in these suits. You do need to wear socks, but if you don't have the right kind of shoes, they will provide those for you. Uh, we got a quick safety briefing demo, like we watched a video, and then it was right up to the skydiving simulator, where our instructor is demonstrating the correct form and techniques for us. 
for the free version of the skydiving simulator, you do get 60 seconds in the wind tunnel. So it is pretty quick, but it's really, really cool feeling. Your instructor's there with you the whole time. Here's my friend Trish. She went before me and she killed it. She did such a great job. And then it was my turn to hop in the wind tunnel. I have to say, it's a lot more difficult and challenging than I thought it was gonna be. You have to hold your body in a certain position to keep from banging all into the walls or flying up to the ceiling. And it's really kind of hard when all this wind is just blowing at you, your cheeks are flapping, you can't really see what's going on. But nonetheless, it's a really, really cool, unique experience, and I loved it. way out or something. Was it horrible? That, I, I'm kicking myself. I am kicking myself that we didn't do that earlier. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> that, what did you think, Trish? Um, it was a lot of fun. It was kind of scary at first, yeah. but they were so sweet and so nice and they made it so easy. Oh, yeah. It was so fun. I, I could not have said it better myself. So we, we got back on board. I went and got a shower, ran right up here because we had this at five o'clock. Oh, holy guacamole. The camera, I know for a fact, did not do it justice. That was amazing. I am kicking myself, I'm kicking myself, I'm kicking myself that we didn't do that earlier. Uh, what a blast. What a blast. Get back here and check out iFly. Do it early in your cruise, because you're going to want to do it again. So just as we set sail, we've come in. I think we're gonna do dinner tonight at Playmakers. I'm gonna check that out. We just didn't really care. I don't know, the menu didn't look amazing in the main dining room tonight. It was like some, uh, it was a Mexican night or something like that, but nothing really was tickling our fancy. Huh? Mexican night, they've got escargot. <laughs> That's right, they did, did y'all see that? No. They had escargot tonight for Mexican night. <laughs> I didn't know, did you? Okay, anyway. But look, check this out. They've got a uh, Clash of the Crystal City. This is like the laser tag. And they've got the course, they've just set it up. We've watched them. Um, the sucky thing is, it's sold out. So you can't do it, you can't book it. It's already sold out. I'm like, what the heck? Like, how does that even happen? I feel like on, what was it, whatever other ship I was on that they had the lace track, like it was no problem. We walked right in and did it. I didn't even know you needed a reservation. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess this one's just super popular or maybe they can't do as much, I don't know. But anyway, we'll just have to watch, watch them do it this time and maybe next time, oh well. dinner time at Playmakers. Uh, the menu is on your screen right now. Let me know down below what would you be having, what looks good to you. I think we got some onion towers around the table here. There's some onion rings. We're supposed to have some onion rings. Where are they at? Where There's some onion rings. David's supposed to have some onion rings. Where are they at? Uh, what's that down there? Wow, look at those nachos. <laughs> Yep, there's the burger. Okay, good, good. That's a big burger, David. Good. Green. It's not yours. <laughs> Whose burger did you steal? Uh, this is an upcharge restaurant, so do keep that in mind. Everything, as you see on that menu, everything does cost extra, and there's not much variation with it. So, like, I was gonna get the wings, and I was like, hey, can I get a side of fries with that? He was like, well. Yes, but they're gonna be the upcharge. They're not included with it. So it, they were gonna be $4.99 for fries. And I said, mm, no, no potato is worth that, okay? I can literally go get a five pound bag of potatoes for that price. It's not happening. I'm not paying that for fries. So uh, I switched up my order. I got a chicken sandwich. 
and that came with fries, so win-win. So I still got the chicken, and I got the fries. So we'll dig in, I'll let you know how the food is. Service has been a bit uh, up and down, left and right here. Um, I don't know if it's the laid back atmosphere, or I don't know what the deal is, but anyway. Maybe we'll eat tonight, who knows. What did everybody think of their food? Did you guys like it? Good? It was plenty of food. Oh my gosh. Plenty of food, yeah. Uh, in fact, Trish, I don't think you finished those 12 wings, did you? She didn't even finish 12 wings, y'all. And that's the smallest amount you can get is 12. So uh, we still have onion towers galore here, nachos galore, so yeah. Uh, plenty of food, we're gonna get the bill and get out of here because if we stay here one more second smelling all this grease, I don't know, yeah, I'm gonna be on the table. <laughs> What's that, Tracy? I'm going to bed. I think I'm, I'm done. I think I'm with you there. It, it's been a good day, we've had a lot of fun. It's time to call it quits. We're, we're going to bed, that's it. Later, take it.